Hello everyone, Dusty Flagger here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Switch 2 and output the display to your Mac or your iPad. So you're going to be using your iPad and your Mac as a screen for it. Alright, so to do this, it actually requires a capture card. So here I have two capture cards. I have the Genki Shadowcast 2 Pro. It's like a really expensive capture card. I mean, it's cheaper than an Elgato, but it uh, is more for pro users and people who make videos like me. And then I have a really cheaper option. This is called the Genki Shadowcast. There's multiple models. I know I'm probably gonna sound like a Genki show because of this, but I promise I'm not paid by Genki. I just really like their products. So this one is a lot smaller, but as you can see, it doesn't have a HDMI out. It has a USB-C out, which we need. A lot smaller of a footprint, and that's really good. So yeah, that's what we need. All right, and to get started, we are gonna take one of these capture cards. So like I said, you can use the Genki Shadowcast or the uh, bigger one. There's also the, like these cheap ones off Amazon. I'd try that if you're not really gonna be using this all the time. But basically, you'll grab this, find the HDMI port on your Nintendo Switch 2 dock. So I'll plug that in. And now we grab a USB-C cable. I'll be back when I find one. All right, I found the cable. It's just a, uh, a high speed 10 gigabytes per second, um, five gigabytes per second cable, but it doesn't really need to be that fast. Just probably USB-C. I mean, if you've got an Apple Silicon Mac, you'll need uh, USB-C anyway. Oh, nearly just tipped over. There we go, it's plugged in. So now I just got to connect up the power, so I'll be back. All right, so I've plugged in the AC power to my power outlet. And now what we want to do is we want to run the capture card to a USB-C port. So we're going to first show it on Mac and then we're going to go to the iPad. So grab my USB-C cord, plug it into one of those ports. I'm using an M4 Mac Mini, as you can see. And now let me just get a screen recording. All right, now that we're on the Mac, you want to open up your app store down here. I'm going to pause my background because that's probably highly distracting. And there's a bunch of different apps you can use, but this one, I believe, works on every capture card. Again, I sound like a Genki show, but it's called Genki Arcade. You can search that up. You can download that. It has got a one-star review in my country for some reason. But there's also these other apps you can get, which we'll be looking at for the iPad. But this is a one you can use on the Mac App Store. But we'll also be using an alternative like OBS. All right. So once you've opened that, you can full screen this if you want. You will see that you'll have nothing, of course. So you turn on your switch. I'm holding my power button to turn it on. And it is about to output. And as you can see, it is on my switch. Now, unfortunately, because I'm using the Genki Capture Card V1, it's going to look really bad because this is uh, locked to 1080p30. It's kind of my emergency capture card. So you can use this. Or as I showed in the tutorial, I mean in earlier, you can use this fancier Genki Capture Card, which uh, uses HDMI. But we'll look at that towards the end of the video. All right, so now you technically have this, but we'll check the, uh, you can also record on this app, by the way, and change some stuff here, like the frame rate, recording, and where you want to record to. But now let's look at the uh, open source version, which is actually OBS. All right, and for the next one, we're going to be using OBS, which I actually have open here, but I'll show you how to download it. So you go to the link in the description, obsproject.com, and this will only work for Macs again. Now, here's where you need to decide if you are picking between silicon or your x86 chip. So if you have an Intel chip, so that's non-M1, non-M based chip, so Intel chip, um, which should be like pre-2020 MacBooks, you're going to want to press this, but if it, you have a newer Apple Silicon Mac, you want to press Apple Silicon. Download that. Should be fairly simple to uh, install. Might take a little while, but basically you double press this file. You can drag and drop that to your applications. I'm not going to because I already have it open. Once you've opened it, it should ask you if you want to set up like recording and stuff. I would just say no because you actually don't need that. Oh, look, infinite. And basically... um should just select record anyway but what we'll do is we'll create a new scene we'll call this default tutorial boom all right so now you can actually see this new source you don't need to add this i'm only adding this because i need to actually record the screen of the mac but basically you want to press plus go to video capture device and i'm just going to call this capture card switch 2 bad spelling and you want to press shadowcast or whatever capture card you're using 
for me, I have this um, presenter overlay thing on currently on my camera. So that's why I was doing it. Turn that off and it will fix it. And basically, we can change some settings here. I'm going to go for 720p at 60fps because this capture card supports it. I got this for fairly cheap. I think it was around 20 US dollars on sale. So this is really my emergency capture card. But as you can see, this is the like the open source thing. You don't actually have to record it. But um, there's that. And that basically shows you that you're recording. Uh, so there's that. But now we're going to move on to the actual iPad and iOS tutorial. Alright, so once again we have the Switch 2 connected to the capture card. But instead of plugging it into the Mac, we're going to want to plug it into the iPad. So here I have an iPad Air M1. Still a very good machine. Basically we want to plug it into the USB-C port. And it should come up as a camera, but you want to open up the App Store. And just search for Genki. Just search Genki. I mean, it'll probably come up with some Japanese learning. Genki Studio, you can try that. I know another one a lot of people use is Orion. But I do know Genki Capture Card works on other cards. But it will actually have a, um, like a, what would you call it? It actually will have a watermark. So you can use Orion if you prefer. So press open on Orion. You saw me there. Pull that to open. Gonna make an annoying sound when I just wanna, you know. See my capture card? It's really hard to record a screen here, guys. I should probably uh, start screen recording this. Would be better. Basic operations, Nintendo Switch and other. Yep, continue. Ryan would like to access the camera, yes. Ryan would like to access the microphone, yes. So it's not actually. Boom. And now we have it. So we can change some settings here, I think. Advanced settings. Can we like change to uh, 120 FPS? Because this doesn't feel, this feels like 30 FPS and I really don't want 30 FPS. Adjust. Okay, you need to pay. I'm not going to pay currently. But here's this app. You can use this app. I'm not a big fan of this app. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up Genki Shadowcast here. I mean Genki Studio it's called on the iPad. Welcome to Genki Studio. Continue. You can see the iPad app is a lot more up-to-date than the Mac app. The Mac app is kind of lacking features, but they're updating it more and more. So that's like... The cinematic mode on my iPhone is not capturing everything properly. So that's why I'll be using the uh, screen recording. Hopefully that's working. So you want to press continue, allow camera access. I'm going to switch it on normal video. Right, that seemed to have worked, threatening it. Allow photo access, allow microphone access. The photo access is actually just so that it can save your recordings which is a, a pretty cool feature. Damn, this, this auto lock. I cannot control my phone. All right, I'm gonna keep it at a distance. So you can change all of this. I'm not going to. Continue, start, reload. And there we go. Now we have the capture card. So there's that, it looks pretty good. And the cool feature of this app, you can record in this, but you can also draw and scribble over. So if I want to like make a YouTube video, I can scribble over Pokemon Legends EA. I think you can zoom in. I could be wrong. Yes, you can. So that's pretty cool. You can set it to image. And if you have like a really big fancy iPad, you can use mirroring mode. And I don't have, I can't use this feature because unfortunately you'd need like a dock because um, you would need to have to connect the USB-C of the capture card and an output to the uh, monitor, which I don't have. You can use that feature and take photos. You can adjust videos there's lots of things you can airplay to things so for example i actually could just turn on my monitor and press airplay to my mac mini so now if i look at my mac mini hopefully it will turn on let me just try that again now playing not playing so that's not that's not working very well unfortunately i'm sure i need to do something i don't blame these developers genki are really good they make really good products and um, you have all these settings. So basically, uh, you can also change audio if you want to. Make sure you select your capture card um, or it won't work. But you can also record, by the way, guys, and make YouTube videos. I've recorded some of my videos in the iPad app. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed playing your Nintendo Switch 2 on your Mac and iPad.